that, gonna place that right below our other design right there. If this comes out good, then you know the TKO is good to go. Yeah, no. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Eight, 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 uh, productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Wait a minute. What's up guys? Guess what? We got a package from... Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna tell you guys who it's from. I'm just gonna open it up and show you what it is, but it's something very, very special. You guys are gonna love this. Watch this. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got here, guys. Mm-hmm. Got some from TKO Sales, guys. Got some stock colors from TKO sales this is this is not exactly what I thought it was but let's see what it what else is in here let's see is it all the same thing yes it is it's all the same thing but these are different color samples that we can check out just so you guys can see all the different colors that TKO has to offer so guys, TKO has all these different colors that are available for you guys. So let's just go over a few just to see what they have to offer. And I gotta read these backwards because you know, you can't really see it unless you press it on. So what's this? This is a silver metallic. This is a Pantone red. This is a Pantone burgundy. Kelly green Pantone. Violet metallic. Um, orange Pantone. Maroon Pantone. So many different colors. Navy Pantone, we got a dark brown Pantone, Kelly Hunter, Kelly Green, Hunt, Kelly Hunter Pantone. It's hard trying to read these backwards, guys. And then we got this uh, uh, Royal Pantone, a lot of different colors. So you can, whatever color you need your transfers to be, TKO has got you covered. Um, pretty interesting stuff. I think we should press some of these. Look, we even got some pink, we got some hot pink Pantones right here. We got a uh, orange neon. We got a, a neon green. And look at this really, really bright one right here. We got this uh, yellow neon Pantone. I mean, just yellow neon. Got some, a bunch of interesting stuff. I think we should tag up a shirt. Let's tag up some shirts and see what these things look like on some shirts, guys. Let's do it. Color gray. I'm looking for the pink one. Deciding which one we're going to use. All right, so we're waiting until the heat press heats up. It's at 270 right now, but this is going to be dope. We are going to use this premium Bella Canvas Gray. I'm just gonna lay it on here nice and evenly and I'm gonna press it down first to get rid of those wrinkles. Give it a little light press with my Walla Press Pro 16 by 20 from Heat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, boom. Look how smooth that is, listen. Just do what I tell you to do, all right, and, and you'll be all right. All right, so let's position our first. Which should, which one should we do first, guys? Should we do the gold metallic? Should we do the metal mid silver? Should we do the neon pink? Or should we do the Pantone Kelly green? I think we should do two at a time. And what, hmm, let me try to style this in a way. How would I style this? How would you style this? I would obviously, I would go, I would go put the pink one, left chest right here, four fingers down, left chest, right? Boom, right there, boom, boom, right? We're gonna do all at the same time. And then we would do this one. All right, we would do the uh, green one off like this, right? That's what I'm doing. All right, that's what we're doing right here. That's what we're doing. All right, it's gonna be interesting. Interesting to see how this comes out down here. And then we're gonna go, um, this was pink, pink and gold, all right? So then we're gonna go right here. It's gonna look very, very weird, guys. Very, very weird right here. We're, we're just playing around, we're just playing around. It's cool to be able to play around with shirts just to see what things look like, isn't it? Yes, indeed, we are blessed. And you see that our press is all heated up. So we're ready to press just in time. I don't like the way that stagger right there. We want to kind of like 
Yeah, that gives it some symmetry. A little bit of symmetry right there. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to right there and we're going to press this down firm pressure medium to firm pressure so let's go ahead and i hope that didn't slide the transfers so i'm just giving it some firm pressure right there all right for 10 seconds and let's see how these come out guys three two one here we go all right let's see drum rolls please Ooh. 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 This one is, this one is, this one ain't, this one ain't it. This one ain't it. One more time. One more game for that one. One more game. Because that was, that one was in the corner. So it probably didn't get that good heat. So let me find a Teflon sheet real fast. And then I'm going to lay it on top of there. I got a Teflon sheet all the way. Okay. Thank you so much. Parchment paper, Teflon sheet, whatever, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. All right, so let's go ahead and press this down. Firm pressure again. I probably should have scooched that over because we probably don't have that much good heat in this corner right here. But it's okay. Let's see how good the Walla Press Pro can do on the second press. All right. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I have faith in the Wild Press Pro. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So let's press this down one more time, just so we can finish it up. And then we should be good, guys. All right. So the media, the, the name of this game is uh, to make sure that you have firm pressure on the areas where your your um, transfer is, guys. So you you wouldn't normally do this in this way but now that everything's pressed down you can see the different colors i like the way that pink it's kind of like a light pink at the top then it goes to a dark pink then you got some metallic silver which is a true metallic then you got your gold which has the flakes in there and then you have your kelly pantone green right here all the different colors looking real real good yeah these are definitely my favorite two right here the gold and the silver so we're going to press one more TKO transfer, and it's this little train design right here. Our coffee is badass, it says. Uh, you guys will read it after I'm done pressing it. It's Nebraska quality. Um, I'm trying to read it backwards, but let's go ahead and press this. I'm interested to see how good this all black one TKO transfer comes out on this shirt right here. And I also have an all white one, so we're going to press both of them just to see how they come out on this shirt. All right, so let me go ahead and lay this down here. And we're going to get some, put that right in the middle of the center of the back right there. Like right there, like that. And then we are going to give it some firm pressure. Press that down, right in the middle of the press. That is definitely not firm. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. Ah, screw that down nice and heavy a little bit. All right. All right. Cool. What do you think? We got a good preel? We got a good press? Oh, yeah, that looks good. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. If you guys can see that, it looks really, really good. And it has some good stretchability. I don't typically do the stretch stretch test because I think it's BS. But um, because nobody goes in a store and starts stretching their shirt, nobody does that. So like it's silly. And even when you buy something, you don't intentionally stretch it like that. So you know. But I I get it. You just want to see if the transfer is good. That's why people do it. But overall, everything came off looking real good. And it's a nice solid black. You don't see any degrees. Now let's go ahead and press some white on here to see what the white comes out like. I'm gonna press, put the white right below the uh, black right here. Doing all types of tests. All right, I'm gonna place that right below our other design right there. And we're gonna use a piece of paper right here to cover up the other design. And we're just gonna press that down with that same firm pressure that we had. All right. Ooh way more firmer 
way more former than before. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this one comes out. Um, black and white are the two main colors that you want to, you know, if, if this comes out good, then you know the TKO is good to go and solid with the transfers. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay, we got a little bit of resistance here. I'm going to press that again. We got a little bit of resistance there. Um, I'm going to guess it's because not enough pressure, but I don't know, medium to firm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it one more time. One more game. One more game. All right. All right, heavy pressure, heavy pressure. All right. All right, let's see how this comes out, guys. All right. Woo. Hot off the presses. All right, let's grab a corner of that right there. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, guys, so I don't know what went on with this transfer, but it just did not do as good as I would have liked it to do. Every other transfer came out good, but this one right here just did not cooperate that well. Interesting. And we tried twice, and yeah. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> All right, but the black one came out good. These ones came out great. But this white one, I don't know, maybe it's an old transfer. Not sure, but right in the edges and at the bottom, it didn't come out quite as good. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I want to try one more white one just to see. Let me get another white transfer. Give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so this is the same, this is the same train design, but in white. I'm interested. I'm very, very curious now. Since we went at it on this shirt, let me just. I'm very, very curious. I know you guys are curious too. So we're just gonna try one more white one, and see if there's something going on with TKO and white transfers. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Now I got some Teflon doing it the accurate way. And let me get some nice firm pressure. We're at 300 degrees. I'm going to press this for 15 seconds. Ugh, see how, how firm that pressure is on there. And we got to see. We got to make sure if there's something going on with TKO and white transfers or if that was just a fluke. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Boom. Heavy pressure. Heavy pressure right there. All right. So typically, um... You guys let me know in the comments, would you peel it off now? Would you wait a little while? I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt so we can get the best transfer possible. Would you rub it a little bit? You know what I mean? Like we did white toner. I would personally take it off now. So maybe this is a cold peel. Maybe I'm not following instructions right. Maybe this is a cool peel. So I'm going to let it cool off for a little while and then we'll try it. Maybe it's a cold peel and I messed up. So I'll be right back, guys. Let me let this cool off the room temperature. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so it does say hot peel. We press it for the right time. So at this point, it's like, it's kind of still warm. But, and I guess it is coming off a little bit better, but it's still not. Yeah, this actually should be a cold peel. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. They got the hot peel stuff mixed in with the cold peel stuff because this came out looking great. So this was my mistake, guys, and this was also TKO's mistake because guess what? They got this batch mixed with this batch, and this white right here is a cold peel. Loveland, wouldn't you think this is a cold peel? I agree. I agree, right? Because I tried to peel it hot, like the instructions said, and it didn't work. It worked for the black, but it didn't work for the white, but then when I peeled it cold, it came out perfect. So TKO, um, you're welcome. With your white transfers right here, it's definitely a cold peel. It's not a hot peel on this one because, uh, yeah, it was failing on. This is what happened with the hot peel. It wasn't so successful with that. So it's very, very interesting. 
that just goes to show you how you have to try out your transfers just to see like what works best. Um, so when you're ordering transfers, guys, make sure you guys always ex order extra a few extra ones just to try out, you know, and have a few shirts. Now, since this didn't like since this was a cold peel, um, it's always a good habit, even if it's a whether it's a hot or a cold peel, to just press one more time to let the uh, ink um, sink into the fabric. I typically always press stuff one more time just to let that thing embed and melt down into the fibers of the garments. That's what I like to do. But yeah, just to make sure that your stuff lasts when you send it off to customers, you're confident that um, it's not going to come right off. All right. So yeah, um, overall, now that we found that out, I've gained my confidence back. It has the same type of stretchability and the same type of almost nothing very lightweight feel as the black and that was going to be very very awkward if this did not work right if this did not work but um if a hot pill doesn't work try a cold pill right so this is very 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 um good thing this is the same same design right here you see it in black then you see it in white looks just as good in both um very very solid white with nothing um showing through very, very solid black with none of the gray shirt showing through. So overall, I have to say these are very, very good transfers. As long, as long as you have the right settings. Got to have the wrong, right settings. Um, I've tried all different types of transfers. And I got to tell you guys, everything is all about having the right settings. Including when you make your DTF uh, transfers, when you make your DTG transfers, when you make your screen printed transfers. All that stuff, you got to try it out and have the right settings in order for it to transfer right and in order for you to tell your customer exactly the way it needs to be transferred. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it looks good. I think it looks great. I'm glad we figured that out because this is going to be an awkward video, right? But, but we figured it out, guys. And trial and error goes to show you with a little bit of practice, you can get it all right. You know what I mean? Maybe it's... Maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't the transfer, maybe it was me. Right? So thank you guys um, for watching. Leave a comment in the description down below. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and use my TKO affiliate link in the description down below. Use my heat transfer house affiliate link down below to get your wallet press pro. And use my Bella Canvas link to get your tees so you can press your TKO transfers. And I'm out. Peace. Turn up that Crank it up while listening to the rest. We rockin' with the best, baby.